What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and OneDrive for Business, and we're going to look at the action which is Update File. So this action allows you to update the contents of a file in your OneDrive for Business. So say you have a blank Word document, you could copy text from one to another. If you have an image, you could copy an image from one to another. You can do all these sorts of things. Excel, you can move uh, Excel stuff from one to another. So this allows you to update a file um, and, and put some content in there. So I'm just talking about instances of like using OneDrive business to do that, and that's what I'm going to show today. But you can actually get file content from multiple other sources. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in my OneDrive for business, my, my flow here, uh, my OneDrive for business flow here. And I have a trigger, which is when a file is created. Uh, I'm not going to use a trigger, I'm just going to test from my previous action just so I don't need to update, upload a file. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click next step and click OneDrive for business. Uh, and the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to use a the get file content action. We've covered this in a previous video, you can check that out here. And what we will do is we will uh, go off and we will find a specific file. So if I'm going to go in here, I'm going to use my picker and I'm going to go to this one that says uh, PATVD. And we're going to infer content out, it's all fine. So we're just going to get the content from this file for our test. Then we're going to search OneDrive for Business again. Drive for Business again. And we're going to scroll down until we get Update File. So from here, we need to now pick the file that we want to update. So this, again, is going to use the picker for this. Um, you can use uh, a, a, an easy to use piece of dynamic content, um, but we're going to choose this for ease. Uh, I can't want to scroll up. That's nine. Uh, try that again. Uh, power apps, nope, wrong one. Uh, having problems with picker today. Come on, we can do this. We can do this one more time. Let's throw, let's click Power Automate. And uh, no, I can't seem to find, I can't seem to get that folder because it's just above here. Um, but what we will do instead is we will delete that. We will just type this in manually because the picker is not working for some reason with my screen. Uh, power automate uh, forward slash stop looping forward slash uh, and then we'll need to go find our file name. Uh, usually you can just use the, uh, the path there. So test copy from path. So if I just click this to show you what it is, this is just a file with no data. Uh, it does actually have data, it's a lie. Um, so uh, that's to show you what's in here. And then we will put that in and dot docx. Cool. Uh, cool. And then we're going to use the file content from this get file action. So if I go back into my OneDrive business, sorry for flicking around, uh, we'll go and open this file, patvd dot docs. And once this opens up, you'll see that this file does contain data. Um, as soon as I try to make videos, we, we always have these technical issues. It's always fun. Uh, we'll try refreshing. Come on, OneDrive for business. I love you. There we go. Power Automate Test Video Documents. We've got this highlighted stuff. We've got this like, new line of text. Hey, Ma, look, I'm on TV. Um, bonus points if you know where that's from. Uh, so so this is what this is the content of the file that we're going to move to that other file that just had a single line said this file contains no data or has no data. So we will test this out. So we'll click on test. Uh, we'll just test from a previous uh, successful test um, and we will yes you have failed. Uh, huh, interesting. The file ID is not valid. Maybe I did something wrong with that. Let's try zooming out a little bit. Uh, uh, this one looks exactly the same to me. So we'll test that again. It's probably just the check to have a bit of an issue. 
there we go. So it was exactly the same as far as I could see. Maybe I had something in the wrong place, maybe there's a space or something. But uh, zooming out a little bit allowed me to get that full list, so top tip there. Uh, always do it to troubleshoot while you're filming a live video. Um, so yeah, so that did that. So we'll go back to our document and we'll open this one that was updated just a minute ago. And we can now see that, that content from that other document is now in this document. So that's what this allows you to do. It allows you to take content from somewhere else, whether that's another file in your OneDrive for business or maybe something or somewhere else, um, and allows you to put the content into something in your OneDrive for business. So that's what this does. So um, I could think of a couple of uses for this. Maybe you need to store data, maybe you need to copy data, maybe you need to um, create sort of uh, you know, automated files and things like that, and you want to update the content and inject content into these things. That's you know some good uses of it. But as always, I want to know what you guys use this for. So let me know in the comments down below what you're using this for, or uh, connect me on Twitter and uh, or send me an email, and we can chat about what you're using Power Automate for. If you like this video, if you could like it and share it with your friends, that would be much appreciated for me. It really helps me with this channel. If you could subscribe, that is also a real help for me as well. Uh, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and you can see all my latest videos. And I will see you next time.